Will the spikes in COVID-19 cases that we see every couple months during this pandemic, will they align with the contractions of the birth pangs of Matthew 24? In fact, are they aligning with world events right now? If so, that is simply amazing. Have you noticed that there are regular spikes in the COVID-19 pandemic? In April 2020, cases began to ramp up and leveled off. August 2020, they again ramped up, leveled off. Then in December 2020, a serious spike occurred, which eventually dropped in intensity. Then sure enough, in April 2021, another serious spike occurred, centered mostly in India, which again tapered off in the summer. Then in August 2021, yet another spike in COVID-19 cases occurred. You beginning to see a pattern? Spike, then easing off. Spike, then easing off. It appears there may be about three spikes a year. One of our channel's advisors, Fisher Mann, noticed how this pattern of case number spikes is almost identical to the pattern of contractions a pregnant woman experiences as her delivery approaches. Is this coincidence or is it a sign from God? That's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. advisors found this pattern extremely interesting. Now we only have a year and a half of data, but there seems to be a very regular pattern to these case spikes in April 2020 and then again April 2021, August 2020 and then again in August 2021. And in December 2020 there was a big spike. Will this pattern continue? We aren't sure. The latest spikes, December 2020, April 2021, and August 2021, were all driven by new variants of the COVID virus. If this pattern holds true, we will likely then see another spike in December 2021, and perhaps it will mean a new variant. I mean, who knows? We are only estimating based on a pattern. We, we can't predict this, but if a pattern does materialize, it might give us an indication of what the future may be like. Perhaps three spikes of pestilence a year. Of course, more interesting than the scientific analysis of spikes for those interested in prophecy is Fisherman's observation that the pattern of these spikes is similar to the pattern of contractions and easing for a woman approaching the birth of a baby. Jesus used this as a metaphor for the worldwide events that would precede his glorious return. And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place, but the end is not yet. For nations will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All of these are but the beginning of the birth pains. Interestingly, the King James Version also adds pestilence into this group of events. Now, these events prophesied by Jesus haven't yet begun in earnest. However, there have been a number of very unusual, disturbing and potentially prophetic events during this time period, I bet you've noticed. Remember what we are proposing is that this is the beginning of the birth pangs, not the beginning of the 70th week of Daniel, the seven year period. We're thinking it's just the beginning of the pains, but they are two different things. As a channel, we thought we'd look then at the events that the world has experienced in the last year and a half and see if they also line up with this pattern of COVID spikes that we've mentioned, because if they do, that would really be something. And what we found is that they did, they did line up with these COVID spikes. The most significant worldwide events so far have all lined up 
during these same times that spikes in COVID-19 cases have been occurring. Let's start with the first spike. In April 2020, obviously the most significant event that took place at that time was the worldwide lockdowns that affected nearly every person on the planet. With numerous businesses failing, all sorts of psychological problems, numerous relationship problems, etc. This was one of the most significant issues, maybe in the last 100 years, never before, was the whole world shut down at the same time. Now, in this previous video released at that time last year, we discussed how in God's calendar, in the year prior to a new seven-year cycle, God calls for all agricultural work to cease. This year is known as a Shemitah year. In the video, we discussed how odd it was that for the first time in history, so much work was ceasing worldwide. Was this God's Shemitah year? Was he calling for the ceasing of the work and enforcing it? The year prior to a final seven year cycle, perhaps. A link to that video is down in the description to watch later if you wish. Now, another major event that occurred in that very first COVID spike was the death of George Floyd in the USA, which sparked numerous riots, fueled the defund the police efforts, and created racial strife in the USA, and to some extent on a worldwide basis. So it was April 2020, only the first in a long line of birth pang contractions. It may have been. And at that time, we also released this other video about the issue of the unrest and a potential move to a federalized police and how these things might be linked to the second seal. Again, a link to that video is down in the description. Now, the second spike in COVID occurred in August 2020. And in that month, the most significant peace accord, perhaps in Middle East history, took place. The Abraham Accords. Never in history has an alliance between Israel and Arab nations taken place of this nature. The whole Middle East is dividing into northern and southern alliances based on the nation's relationship to Israel. Some hostile, some friendly, with the southern tier Arab states aligning with Israel and the northern ones aligning with the Palestinians. Is this the king of the north and the king of the south from Daniel 11 beginning to form? This is also the beginning of the Gog-Magog alliances from Ezekiel 38. It might be. And at that time, we released a video about that topic as well. If you haven't seen it, the link is also down in the description. Then the third COVID spike occurred in late November 2020 through January 2021. Those months in the USA included the most controversial election results in U.S. history, dividing Americans like never before along political lines. This culminated in the riot at the Capitol on January 6, possibly forever changing freedom of speech in the United States. The final results of that riot haven't been seen in our opinion. I think they're still coming. A second major event that occurred during that period of COVID case spikes was the rollout of vaccines worldwide. Again, further dividing world populations into pro-vax, and anti-vax camps. Then the fourth spike in COVID cases happened in April 2021. And at that time, the first country to require vaccine mandates and vaccine passports was Israel. Vaccine passports are an enormous intrusion into personal liberty, limiting potentially our ability to buy and sell. Eventually, something like it may morph into the mark of the beast. April 2021 was also the time that the current dreaded Delta variant made its debut in India. At that time, we released this video about Israel-based vaccine passports. If you haven't seen that one, the video link is down in the description. April, May 2021 was also the time of the latest Israel-Palestinian-Hamas rocket attack battles. Just look at how many things are lining up at the same times that COVID cases are spiking. 
which brings us to our current spike in August 2021. The single most salient issue so far during this spike is the fall of Afghanistan and the leaving behind of thousands of Westerners to become hostages of the Taliban and the soon persecution of the underground church there. In this previous video, we discussed how the alliance between the Taliban and Turkey may also lead to a furthering of the Gog-Magog alliance. In August, many cities and countries began their own vaccine mandates and passports. And as we said before, this may be a step toward the mark of the beast. In other places like Australia, nationwide riots have broken out to protest the COVID restrictions. However, this spike in cases is not over yet. <laughs> September still lies ahead. Who knows what we may add to our list. Now, if you noticed, there appears to be a progression in some of these events going from bad to worse, like the initiation of vaccines in January to vaccine passports in Israel in April to much more widespread vaccine passports in places like New York. And today we even heard Chicago and, of course, the riots in Australia, all those taking place in August. So what does the future hold? We expect a lot of these issues that have had their start in earlier COVID spikes to intensify in future waves. Whatever will happen, and whether or not this was the beginning of birth pangs at all, of course, remains to be seen. Now, six months ago, we did a video how the globalists, probably with the assistance and guidance of fallen angels, set this whole thing up and implemented it. This video from six months ago is the only video in our entire library of 300 plus videos that was placed on restricted status. <laughs> I imagine it must have something in it that the powers that be don't like. But you are still able to see it. Even if you watched this six months ago, I think you should remind yourself. And if you can, Click right here to learn how one world government is advancing faster than anyone thought and how the globalists implemented it all. Till then, this is Nelson, and I'll see you there.